Hello everybody, I've been continuing to experiment with these LED lights that won't turn all the way off with my dimmer. And right now I'm trying to see what the smallest incandescent filament style light bulb I can use that will allow the LEDs to go all the way out. This is all you need to try to various solutions. First of all I started with this. This is just a little simple adapter. It just screws into the light socket. Plug your extension cord into it. On the other end of the extension cord, you plug in something that looks like this. This is also another adapter, but it allows you to screw in your flood lamp. So you can simulate a flood lamp being plugged into your light fixture. And then I used a night light socket. This one happens to have a switch, but the switch is not important. Screw in the solution that I'm trying to test. And there you have it. So it's a pretty simple test fixture. You can see here I have my test fixture all set up. All the lights are glowing. All my LEDs are on. When I turn everything off, you can see that that LED is glowing, that one's glowing, that one's also ghosting. So here's my test fixture now with my small incandescent night light. All the cans are full on. So this gives you sort of an idea about the intensity of the night light. Let me put this against a black background, maybe that'll help you a little bit. So this 4 watt night light is not very bright. As I said, the dimmers are in uh, the full on position. And when I turn them off, all the cans are out. And this is just barely glowing. Hope you can see that. The filament is just barely glowing. So that's the intensity of the light on the night light when the dimmers are completely off. The solution is quite simple. I bought this socket right here. This is an E12 candelabra socket, E12 for Edison 12. Commonly called a candelabra socket in the US. And I'm going to use a 25 cent light bulb. These bulbs here happen to be 4 watts. And they were $1. So for essentially 34 cents for a socket and 25 cents for a lamp, I am going to solve the ghosting problem. Uh, what I am going to do though is I'll probably use a little bit more expensive bulb, but you could clearly easily use a bulb like this. This one happens to be just a 4 watt night light bulb. But I'm going to go with these 4 watt GE bulbs right here. And I picked white only because that's all I could get. But these are a C7 bulb E12 base, as you can see. But these are long life, twice the normal life, rated 4,000 hours. And I think that will give me very good performance in the can. Here's the socket I bought. This is an E12, Edison 12, candelabra socket with pigtail leads on it. One of the first things I did was lengthen the leads, but not only to make them longer, but I also wanted to get the temperature rating of the wire equal to the temperature rating of the wire that's in my lighting fixture. The wiring inside those lighting fixtures is rated 105 degrees C. This wire, these pigtail leads here are rated 80 degrees C. So all I've done is I spliced on some 105 degrees C wire 
and put a couple layers of heat shrink tubing here. Uh, I think that that will be more than enough given the light fixture runs considerably cooler with the LED light compared to the original incandescence. So I think this will be a, a safe modification and one I would highly recommend. So shorten the 80 degrees C leads, splice on some 105 degrees C rated wire, shrink tube the connections, put a, an extra layer or two of shrink tubing around the wire. I think that will be a suitable modification. So let me show you how I installed my little night light and a couple of thoughts I have. First of all, this can slides out. So that's the lamp housing. And then there's another, let's call it enclosure behind it. You can see I've got my four watt long life night light. This should last me a pretty long time, especially since it's gonna be running at very, very reduced voltages, not at rated voltage. So the night light is wired directly into the AC power controlled by the dimmer. And as you can see, the light is sitting between this can and the inner can, let's call this the inner can, and the outer can. I had about an inch clearance on top of this can here. So there was no issue with being able to stick this up there. In hindsight, however, I think I'll probably eventually change this. You see right here, you see this black device right here? This is a thermal switch. And its purpose is to disconnect the power to the light fixture in the event of excessive heat or over temperature. Right now, the way I have it connected, if this fixture should get very hot, power will be, will be disconnected to the flood lamp but power will not be disconnected from the night light. So what I'm going to do is rewire this later and have that thermal switch control both the night light and the floodlight. I think I'm going to try to get the night light inside this can. I have enough room back there, I think, to put it in there. The reason I think this nightlight should be inside this can is that way it's visible to anybody who would be replacing this bulb, they would see that nightlight bulb. If you don't know it's here, it's not likely you'll know when to replace it when it's burned out or how to find it once it burns out. So that's so uh, one thought. I'm gonna move this bulb to the inside of this can. And then also I thought I'd, if you're having difficulty finding a socket like this, you might just want to look at your set of old Christmas lights, the old style Christmas lights used uh, in E12 base. And you could certainly cut off a socket and rewire it into here, again, paying attention to the temperature rating of the wire, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. I do have a third solution I'm getting ready to test. And I would ask that you subscribe to my channel the only way I know that any of you find this useful or helpful is that if you subscribe. The third solution I'm going to explore is this one. And you can see that this light bulb, this miniature bulb here, is substantially smaller than this night light. Uh, the challenge here is finding the correct socket for this bulb. It's rated 120 volts. I can find plenty of sockets that are rated 28 which are clearly for automotive use. I haven't found a, an inexpensive lamp holder that's, that's suitable for 120 volt use. But subscribe to my channel. I'll update my results using this kind of bulb uh, to see whether that's an alternative to this uh, night light bulb. In the fully illuminated position or full on, for four additional watts, I've solved the ghosting problem. How about give me a thumbs up if you found this interesting or please subscribe to my channel